a crazy surfer here. So my neighbor Hung and I walked over to the river and caught the marathoners running by. We had tried to time it so we would be there to see the leaders come around on their second lap. It's a 13 mile course and they run two laps. I had big plans to get up super early and get over to the start finish line and it looked like rain and being a good lazy American, I didn't do any of that. But at least I did grab a neighbor and we went over for a good 40, 45 minutes I think. The drone was up, It was I think I used all three batteries and uh, had a really good time watching the runners go by. Always great to see determined people set goals for themselves and try to achieve them. Here I show my flying skills from behind and the side angle and I believe I come up on the bridge and catch the radical straight down at the runner's end. Going all the way. I use a lot of time lapse for this video because I'm trying to include as much as I can. I feel a little bad, but uh, it's just sort of the way I like presenting it. And it actually is pretty neat, I think. I love watching these people come flying by trying to achieve their marathon dreams. The Bellbird Marathon is the music marathon. There is music all along the course, and this gentleman here with his little motorbike, that is a giant speaker blaring, and he just rides around the whole course rocking out. And then about every half a mile or so, there are musicians set up playing live all throughout the course. I didn't really travel as far as I should have this year because of the weather, so I didn't get too many of the musicians. So coming up, I get the big shot looking straight back down Fifth Avenue in the Atlantic, ocean in the background, and a time lapse sped up of all the runners coming around the corner. If you look over up by where the pier begins in the land, you can see the runners coming down the street, rounding the corner, and heading back across the bridge to get ready to start lap number two. So I was trying to catch the leaders as they came around on their second lap, being able to see the regular runners and then hopefully catch the leaders as they came flying by with just having to cross the bridge to the finish line. And weather was an issue, and the Brevard County Sheriff that was beside me at some point came by and said, I just got a weather alert on my phone. If that drone's not waterproof, you may want to take it down. So that's when we started to pack up and clear out, but I had put a GoPro camera out to catch a huge time lapse. If you look over by the stop sign, you'll see me go over there and set it up. So what I've learned is that you can't have a three camera shoot with two cameras. So I set up the GoPro over by the stop sign. One of these runners is a lady I see running all the time, so I wanted to give her her due. And then I speed this up, and it is an awesome shot. If you look up at the clouds, you can see the weather rolling in. The runners are like a little ghost image. And then the lady and the young boy over there all sped up. It's just incredible footage. Turned out much better than I thought. I am not sure if anybody actually got to finish. Maybe the half marathoners got to finish, but we never saw the leaders come by, and I packed up all my camera gear, and Hung and I headed for home. And I mean, it was drizzling when we got home, and it was torrential downpour for a good 20 to 30 minutes after that. So I don't know what the results were. We just barely made it home with all that camera equipment. And that is my marathon video. Here is a little 
bonus turkey creek homemade Florida. It was a fog bake. I had a drone, so I flew above bounds for another sunrise. I'm really enjoying doing that. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.